Mexican officials say a U.S. Border Patrol agent shot and killed a 14-year-old boy. It happened after a confrontation at an international crossing near downtown El Paso, Texas. Mexico is now demanding an investigation. There are a lot of unanswered questions tonight about a fatal shooting last night along the U.S. border with Mexico. What is known is that a U.S. Border Patrol agent shot and killed a Mexican teenager near downtown El Paso under the bridge that goes directly to Juarez on the Mexican side. But why did he use deadly force? Our justice correspondent Pete Williams has been following this story all day. He's with us tonight from our Washington newsroom. Pete, good evening. Brian, when this was at the Paso del Norte border crossing, the FBI is now investigating. But here's what U.S. authorities say appears to have happened. Three Border Patrol agents were trying to stop an apparent human smuggling operation. One of them had a suspect down on the ground, and others in the group of suspects ran a short distance away and began throwing rocks. An FBI statement says the agent was, quote, surrounded by the rock throwers. He fired his gun, and one of those suspects, a 15-year-old, was killed. Mexico tonight is condemning the shooting, calling it a disproportionate use of force to shoot at rock throwers. Mexico says 17 of its citizens have been killed by U.S. agents at the border so far this year, up from five in 2008. The agent who fired the shot is on leave while this is being investigated. But several Border Patrol agents say rock throwing has become nearly epidemic at that border crossing, in some cases causing serious head injuries to U.S. agents, Brian. All right, we'll keep a close eye on this. Pete Williams in Washington. Thanks.